sorry, haha, ha, ha. the five alt, Madison, Dragon Quest five, and of course, we fit trainer green. That's down to the color, I love As always. And we're going up a small battlefield with fire field as a music of choice. And both players kind of just in neutral right now. Now we got John number. All right, okay, okay. All right. John getting a good stretch and yeah, yeah, getting good deep stretch. breathing in. Ooh, John numbers his projectile was a little bit stronger than VV's there. All right, VV's starting to get some uh, percentage on the board right now. Not able to get anything off of that tech scenario. <laughs> John's been doing that particular soccer ball setup a lot, where he headers it in the opposite direction, and it's just really funny looking. It's funny because it's like where where it going. It's not like Jairo is going to come back, you know? It's yeah. just like, it's just there. And that nice, like, way bouncy movement. I love when, like, all that movement that VVD would really showcase very well with any of these characters. Right now, we do have uh, numbers really oh, gain that first off with there, because uh, there's no way Hero's going to survive that. All right, VV does have bounce on deck right now, so potentially shutting down any of the soccer ball and sun salutation shenanigans. But, I mean, not if John Numbers doesn't play that game. John is just... He's he's big chilling right now. Yeah, if he's not gonna get the same setups he did earlier with C, where he's able to kind of get um get Sizzle and Kaboom off the Angel platform and getting John with it, John will block it or even parry it, which you saw earlier with the little frizz that he uh, that BB shot out. That's a very very wishful up smash with Hero. It was all right. Bounce back in. Yep. Sizzle finally uh, punishing John Numbers for going for a deep breathing. I feel like he's been getting away with a lot of them right now. Down throw into an accelerodal forward air is going to be taking it. Vivi with not too much extra credit on him right now, only 37%. And, you know, that's only one hero goofy move. One hero goofy move and, like, literally one hit from numbers with deep breathing. Which, uh, uh, yep. Crazy. Right, another bounce on deck. John numbers, uh, or Vivi, rather, going around John numbers to avoid another down air. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that down smash into, down, into up smash confirm is not, I mean, down there into up smash is not quite going to work at that, at that high percentage. Yeah, Ka uh, Kaboom actually working there to punish John Numbers stalling with the soccer ball, but John Numbers with very good DI just barely skirting the top blast zone, uh, able to have a new lease on life. Yeah, look, we, we see a, a complete 180 from like the first kind of song. We, we saw, you know, BB having a clear deficit, but now he's he's uh, he's he's gaining a lot of percentage on numbers. Numbers, uh, uh, kill percentage, kill percentage with a lot of BB antics, just like Scissor right there, using him to, using that to get numbers off the ledge that he needs to he needs to recover to. And just great management by BB had it just enough to uh, push his way back to the ledge. So with the first part, the shield bash of their Gorto, and then didn't get the grab right after that. Vivi's been playing with so yeah, little mana so far, but the forward air is going to be able to take John Numbers' second stock. Vivi, once again, with the stock lead right now, and just chilling with bounce. Uh, but, I mean... The way these, pe these two, characters, uh, two wow. players move is actually sometimes like... You know how Dragon Ball Z, they do like the... They go in the air and they're yeah. fighting. You know, actually see, that's what it feels like sometimes when I watch them. I'm just like, whoa, like, Vivi just went right through John Numbers, and that's illegal. The I just want to bring up the reactions of John Numbers. It had not even registered to me that Bounce had just run out and John Numbers threw out the Sun Salutation for the kill. Yep. Because yeah, Numbers knows, knows his matchup extremely well. You know, he knows uh, pretty much how much time it needs for, for Bounce to go off. It's about 12 seconds. Oh, that was a very risky deep breathing because Vivi had Accelerado. But John Numbers was able to get it, and now we'll see if he can make anything happen with it. Getting a dash attack, but not getting that neutral air starter. No, but Vivi still has a pretty good amount of damage on numbers, and you know anything with uh, the psycho boost can be enough. Or, or it's down, down throw into fair. Where's the Lerado? And that kaboom is definitely gonna take it. Beautiful. There we go. The kaboom taking out uh, John Numbers' last stock. Game yeah, Numbers one. could not respond in time because he had thrown out that soccer ball just a little bit. Just well, he caught Vivi caught that uh, that end like of throwing out the soccer ball and using kaboom. Boom. I love Bam. the tracking. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to give him a straight face, but the tracking was really funny. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you need to play like a sound effect over that. Like, <laughs> any kind of tracking is really funny. I Just... know. So now we do have a VV up one game. Yeah. Kobe possibly getting a gr uh, finals reset if he keeps his momentum up. Yeah, John Numbers bringing it right back to small battlefield. 
this for game two. Oh, but oh no, oh my god. Vivi's pulling out the menu again. The soccer ball actually saving John Numbers from the kaboom there. Now Vivi's off stage. Accelerado gonna get him right back to center stage for free and almost gonna get uh, Vivi the kill there, but Accelerado just ran out. He wasn't able to quite finish his plate there. And not able to get Zappo either, and trapping the, the magic for Zappo in order to come out. And Numbers uh, having deep breathing, some citations a little bit charged up, and we should be seeing some kind of counterplay from Vivi getting some of our back on deck. Sis not really gonna do anything and pairing the Frizz right there. Ooh. There we go. Uh, John Numbers tried to go for the exact same thing, uh, just waiting for the exact moment the bounce uh, let go, but BB was ready that time. Focus, focus. <laughs> BB actually forward airing through the uh, the sun salutation there. He's keeping John Numbers a little bit uncomfortable at this ledge right now. Uh, numbers choosing to take center stage, but just not able to find any, any of these openings. Yeah, Accelerado is going to be getting Vivi all the way over to where John Numbers is. John with the burst movement dash attack to keep Vivi off of him. Oh, oh wow. that was yeah, a... Numbers is really trying to throw out a lot of attacks to try to catch Vivi in and any kind of animation into coming in closer and not quite getting what he wants in that kind of scenario. Yeah, he's really bouncing right there and getting that back air as he should. Yeah, getting think... bounce on deck. I think John actually tried to anti-air with the back hit of that F tilt, but just barely missed it, and Vivi was able to get the back air for it. And oh, yeah. This has been so a uh, pretty slow game two so far. Uh, we're coming up on two minutes past, and only one stock taken. I mean, that, that's very much a given with numbers games. Uh, they're typically pretty slow, pretty patient, and very calculated most of the time. So we are probably going to see a pretty long grand right now. But it doesn't really matter because it's still such a close game. VV at 168%. Yeah, Pretty yeah. much anything. Alright, my fault. Now anything will kill. Yeah. Did and that Sun Citation just go right over his head? Uh, Please. Yep. <laughs> just barely grazed his Goku hair. Go on! <laughs> okay, you're right, you're right. My bad. No, you're good. Of course, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. This is definitely Jack <laughs> Ball Z. This is a close. Y'all want Goku and Smash? Here you go. We got Red Kama, we got Red Kama, huh? And, and Kaioken. That's all you got. Yeah. Psychup is basically Kaioken. Psychup and move is Kaioken times 20. True. <laughs> Alright, but now... I'm oh, you're, off stage. you're foul. You're foul. You're foul. Vivi tried to go... If we saw a second thwack on stream, I would have I would have lost it. I would have left. I actually would have gone home. <laughs> like, oh, that, that was great grand, guys. <laughs> too, too bad it ended so soon. <laughs> Wait, right now, they're just not really attacking each other. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. I see the Accelerado. Yeah, Vivi choosing to uh, go. Oh, no. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. SD by John Numbers. Very, mm. very rare SD as well. Oh, and misses the deep breathing. John looked very shocked by that. Ooh. Oh, great roll in to avoid the, the Kaboom traveling across the stage and catching your roll. Yeah, Vivi tried to, tried to time it, but barely missed it. Yeah, no. numbers keep getting caught by these uh, sizzle, like, uh, basically sniper projectiles. Yeah. They come out so quickly, but almost unreactable most of the time. And I feel like Vivi, Vivi's been getting so much out of Accelerado this game. I feel like he's been pulling it a lot, and it's really just thrown a huge wrench into John's game plan because Vivi gets to just control so much space. It helps to get Accelerado more often when he has bounce active because it won't come out, pop up in the menu again, and if he has heal done twice. So it will not pop up in it, and then it gives more options for more uh, buffs to come out. But that down smash will definitely take it for John Numbers. And right now we have a somewhat of an even game if Numbers has deep breathing active. And honestly, it could go either way. We could go right into a reset, or we can literally go to game three. All right. He's still with a fresh stock, and John getting through those orange percentages. But a dash attack, putting VV off stage, stuffing the zoom. And the, and the swoosh. Oh, and a back air. I don't think Vivi got his jump back yet. He hasn't touched not ground. Yet. Okay, no, he's, but he's there. good. Gain the jump back. And also back on stage in general. But now we have pretty much an even game right now. Numbers doing an amazing job at actually uh, countering Vivi off stage, which is where Hero really isn't that great unless he has Solar on active. Because you can catch it just like that. Oh, the soccer ball so, just barely. So what, uh, ha what ha happened? I believe he actually did get a Salarado, and it actually accelerated his uh, knockback into a back zone. I think he was dead anyway. Yeah, I think he was dead anyway. It's just the end lag of uh, starting up Accelerado. 
I want to see if he actually was able to get a Celebrator right here. Oh, he even had Zoom in the same menu, too, but went for Celebrator instead. Screen. Yeah, he had Celebrator, so that basically made him go into the Black Zone even faster. No, because sometimes it, sometimes it can get knocked out, and it, it'll, like, cast, but you won't get the buff, which mm. really sucks. Yeah. So he did actually have a Celebrator active, and you just got yeeted. You got yeeted. Like, there you, was no, you were done. Right. So now we're going out of game three. This could be fi our final game of the night, or it could go to another into a grand reset. So, very, very intense situation for both players at the moment. Yeah, both of them just starting the starting game three off by setting up all of their resources. Vivi putting on that bounce, charging up to Frizz, and John Numbers still with Sunset. Okay, Ooh, goodbye. Okay. All righty. Never mind whatever I was saying. Vivi died to down air at 40. Again. That happened in the first game as well. Mm -hmm. And put my pretty much saw that forget pretty much the whole game. But you know, not impossible if Vivi's able to kinda of get his momentum flowing again. Cause now uh, we have numbers going back to kind of like the ledge guard play that he's very known for. And Vivi has to counteract that with his own uh, his own RNG skills. Yeah. Or, you know, skills. <laughs> RNG skills. <laughs> RNG skills. And I mean John is already taking this momentum so far, already getting BB to 95 after taking that first stock so early. Okay, good air and dodge has to as well. This might be a really, this might be a done, done, done deal game, getting that, getting that psych up, up so very quickly, but still. Yep, BB looking through the menu, not finding anything to his liking. I think he has Oomph on deck, but not much else. Wasn't able to find a bouncer and Accelerado. A Metal Slash. Yes, <laughs> all 0.2% of it will do so much damage. I think right now he might be. This might be a done deal if he's not able to get. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! These are actually not doing anything against that bounce and freeze. Okay. John numbers doing a good job of delaying his recovery, especially below the stage where it can be a little bit more tricky for a hero with Accelerado to threaten. Yep. Because a hero with Accelerado can threaten so much to the side of the stage, but under it is where it's still a little bit awkward. And Vivi's playing very carefully at the moment, not doing anything too crazy, not playing menu out when he's too close to numbers. Pretty much playing more of a, fun, a fundies kind of base, kind of, going back to like a, like a, you know sorty kind of uh, sorty like sorty. That was such origins. a good parry. Vivi had a uh, psych up, so that could have been very close to a shield break. And now Vivi's uh, okay. Well, he does get bounce back, but we'll see if he can bounce back and get this second stock. I like that. Hey, hey. <laughs> bars. Now we got heal, one heal gone. We have another heal active in the menu at some point if he's able to even get it. And Vivi's and we, been doing a really good job of keeping this competitive. Only great. 58% yep. and a sizzle. Uh, John yeah, he, number, I don't know what that gesture was where he just kind of, he almost like bowed like edgeworks. I think he was like, he was, he was like, a, like a wave of like, like, like sigh, yeah. thank God. You know, we're going back to like a one stock situation last game, possibly last game, uh, or possibly reset. Potentially, if John is able to close out this set, but I mean, on Vivi's last stock, Vivi's been playing so careful, and John just hasn't been able to get too much started. But 87%. Celeradal now on deck. This could be huge for Vivi. John yes. actually pushed uh, forward while Vivi had Accelerado. I was uh, surprised by that dash attack. Oh no, this might be something really detrimental. If he if he gets his zoom oh, right, okay. oh, that was a very scary placing. At the last minute, just do black. You might get 19%. Like a, it's like a. 5% chance of happening. It would be very funny though. It'd be hilarious. I, I think numbers would actually like rage. Gain that sizzle. Punishing the target. And another, sizzle. Sizzle. And another down air will be and taking it. And that will be our grand finals. Starting with a down air and ending with a down air. It did. Poetic. Very we bring poetic. it back. Full we, circle. The circle of life, everybody. Everything is. <laughs> everything comes around. And that was a very qu not quick. No, a little quick. A little bit. That was that was within <laughs> the first 20 seconds of the game, the first dare. And I'm, I'm actually very glad that Vivi didn't let that deter him and actually was able to get bring it back to a one-stock situation between both players. But, yeah, Numbers just had had a day. Today was his day, you know? It was. Sent Vivi to losers. Vivi came back and then sent him out the bracket. <laughs> yeah. Good on both players. <laughs> that... Sizz is so funny because, and then Sizzle is amazing because it, it clings onto whatever is in front of it. Mm -hmm. So, but Sizz is so funny because Sizz would be like, 
like your next best option, and it always is just so he's so he broke his why, back. Why would you, I'm a, I'm a boy, Erdrick. I felt that so dirty. Which one? I know the the last down air. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah, was we, super we were far like, down. Oh there there he's gone. Yeah. So yeah, that is our, our that's, that concludes Xeno uh, Xeno Weekly 231. We do have registers open for 232, I believe, which is fifteen dollar entry in total. Well, entry and venue. Hello. Yep, absolutely. You can check it out at smash.gg slash Xeno. And of course we do have Masterino as well, House 2000 on the RC uh for slash Masterino. We can also do Twitch. We have Twitter. There's Masterino. Our la let's, let's do a little bit of a last minute match right now while the credits yeah, just roll. Our, our last hurrah. And last but not least, we do want to remind you, we are House of 3000. This is the production crew who does a lot of, of well, basically all of you know weekly, and a bunch of the majors that you all be watching. That's yeah, all. It's a three cool K. Super Smash Con, Smash World Tour Championships, Glitch. Glitch. That's all House of 3000. So if you like their content, their little replay, funny little tablets. Do follow them at Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, where VODs are uploaded basically instantly. And that's uh, well, pretty much it, right? I yeah. think that's it. So that was Xeno Weekly. I'm Montaneva. You can follow me on Twitter at Montaneva uh, <laughs> with an extra A because it's taken. And, and of course. I'm Force Armor. You can also follow me on Twitter. <laughs> and this is John Numbers. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching.